So I finished up charging the, this iPhone 4S. It was on the hello screen. I partially set it up and I'm now going to reveal if it's actually iCloud locked or not. So, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, God. Oh. What? Phone could not be activated. Hello? Well, um, that didn't turn out. Expected it to. No SIM card needs Oh my god, it's not. Oh my god. This is fully working! Oh my god, this is... This is so... This is phone is actually working. That is... That is a great moment. I've always wanted... I've always wanted a new... I've always wanted an iPhone 5C for a while, and now I actually have one, and it is amazing. Well, um, I'll see you at the recap, so I'll see you then. One hour later. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. A lot of you may notice that I haven't been releasing that much videos. That's mainly due to COVID-19 literally wrecking my video schedule and the content that I do. But I've also have been planning some other videos that have just gone cancelled for other reasons other than COVID. One of which is this iPod Touch second generation. Now originally I had wanted to do a repair video on this since I got it from eBay for like five bucks, but I later found out that this was water damaged, so I want that video idea. The next is this 2011 MacBook Pro. Same story, except that I got this for free from one of my relatives. Apparently the previous owner accidentally spilt beer on it. And I tried charging it, and it was the same result as this one. Both water damaged, both cancelled projects. What a sad thing. I don't even know anymore. And to top it all off, um, I had an incident with my main phone, and... Let's just say that it just died. Yeah, so things weren't going well on my end. But earlier today, I have gone to a Target and an AT&T. Target was really desolate. Like, there was only like three batteries and two ink cartridges. Two of them were iPhone batteries, but I didn't think those were worth taking. But at AT&T, it never fails to amaze me. I have gotten three things from there, and here they are. Frick. Now, at first glance, it doesn't seem that it's a lot, but I will go in depth with three of these phones. Let's start off with this. So, this is another Moto E2 AT&T. Apparently, it is water damaged, but it did come with a plastic band on it, so... What I did is I actually transferred the band from this Moto E2 over to this Moto E2, which I found on Target bin about February, and now it's a perfectly normal Moto E2, which is pretty nice in my opinion. Except for this one at least. This one, I don't think it has any hope left. Now, second is this iPhone 4S. When I got it, it did have a passcode, but I restored it to iOS 9.3.5. Sadly, it was on iOS 8 or something, but it did have a passcode, and I tried guessing the passcode until I couldn't no more, and I was unsuccessful at that. So, here we are on a 16 gig iPhone 4S on 9.3.6. I mean, I'm not complaining. And then, probably the best one... Is this iPhone 5C? When I got this, it was originally on the hello screen. And yeah, I'm, and yeah, I did I did actually go live on it to see if it did have an iCloud on it. Which I showed you in the previous clip there. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.